Zeitangaben, time indications. In this video, I will teach you the days of the week, several times of the day and some adverbs of frequency. Let's start with the week, die Woche. The weekdays are Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag. In Germany, the week starts on Monday, Montag. All days of the week are masculine because der Tag is masculine. So if you want to say on Monday, then you have to use the preposition an plus dem, which is the dative of der. An is a preposition which is always used with a dative case. So an dem Montag, and this can be contracted to am Montag. So on Monday is am Montag. Can you repeat? Am Montag. On Tuesday, am Dienstag. Repeat. Am Mittwoch. Am Donnerstag. Am Freitag. Am Samstag. And am Sonntag. So you can use that if you talk about things that happen once or not very often. If you talk about things that happen every week, then you would say Montags. So Montag, the, the day of the week with a small letter and with an S at the end. So Montags means on Mondays. Montags, Dienstags, Mittwochs, Donnerstags, Freitags. Samstags and Sonntags. One more word about Samstag. That's what people tend to use in the south of Germany. In the north of Germany people rather say Sonnabend. So you can hear people say Samstag or Sonnabend. Both mean Saturday. And now the different times of the day. Der Tag. You will see that it's very similar. Here we have Der Morgen. Der Vormittag, der Mittag, der Nachmittag, der Abend and die Nacht. All of them are masculine except for Nacht, which is feminine. Der Morgen means the morning and der Vormittag kind of means the pre-noon. In English we would also say the morning, in German we make the distinction. Der Morgen is really early morning, let's say until 8, 9 o'clock. And after that starts der Vormittag. Then we have mit Tag. Mit comes from Mitte, the middle. We saw that in Mittwoch as well. This was the middle of the week. Now we have mit Tag, the middle of the day. Then der Nachmittag. Nach means after, so it's the afternoon. So vor means before. And nach means after. Vormittag and Nachmittag. Der Abend. The evening and die Nacht, the night. In the morning is am Morgen. Again, you have the preposition an plus dem, the dative case of der, an dem Morgen, am Morgen. Am Vormittag, am Mittag, at noon, am Nachmittag, am Abend. Only Nacht is different, it's feminine and it's in der Nacht. In, in this case, is also a dative preposition and in the dative, the feminine article D becomes der. It looks like it's masculine, but it's not. In der Nacht, at night, in the night. If you want to say every morning, then you can say morgens. Vormittags, mittags, nachmittags, abends and nachts. Again, all with a small letter and with an S at the end. So, can you repeat after me again? Am Morgen, am Vormittag, am Mittag, am Nachmittag, am Abend, in der Nacht. Yeah. You can find these words in the greetings, 
Guten Morgen, that's what you say in the morning, good morning. Guten Tag can be said throughout the whole day. Good day and guten Abend, good evening. And you might be asking yourself the question, why is it guten? That's because all of these are masculine, like I said, der Morgen, der Tag, der Abend. And you wish something, so they are the object of what you wish, so they are in the accusative case. So it's like, ich wünsche dir, I wish you, einen guten Morgen. Ich wünsche dir einen guten Tag and ich wünsche dir einen guten Abend. It's just that for the greeting we want to keep it short, so we leave out ich wünsche dir einen and we just say guten Morgen, guten Tag and guten Abend. At night you can also say gute Nacht, but that's not a greeting, you can only say that to say goodbye, to wish a good night. Ich wünsche dir eine gute Nacht, shortened to gute Nacht, also in the accusative case. Good. Now, last but not least, some adverbs of frequency. Can you repeat after me? Immer, meistens, oft, ziemlich oft, manchmal, selten, and nie, never. And then if you want to say every day, that's the accusative case again, jeden Tag. When you give a time indication without a preposition, that is not an adverb, this will always be accusative. So that's why we have jeden Tag, every day. Jeden Tag. Einmal pro Tag, once a day. Einmal pro Tag. Zweimal pro Tag. Dreimal pro Tag. And this goes on. Viermal pro Tag, fünfmal pro Tag, sechsmal pro Tag, hundertmal pro Tag, tausendmal pro Tag, as much as you want. Yeah? So learn these adverbs and the days of the week, the times of the day for next time. We will do an exercise using them. Yeah?